the model of the right foot. Watch what happens when I go forward and I go back. Forward, back. Forward, back. When I go forward, the shin comes forward of the foot. There's a turning in. That's a pronation type of action. When I come back or plantar flexion of the ankle, the shin comes behind the foot. There's a turning out or supination. Okay. Natural contour of the bones as they articulate. That's the movement. Show you side view. Plantar flexion of the ankle. Shin is behind the foot. There's an arch over here. As the shin comes forward in the ankle dorsiflexion, keep going, there's a collapse of the arch. That's pronation, okay? This is a position that we can produce more force from because we come out of it there. This is a position we can absorb force. So from here, we absorb a load, boom, okay? So we need both. Anybody who tells you that this is bad, having flat feet, or collapsed arches, or toed out foot positioning, they mean well, but they have a limited understanding, okay? So they're missing the forest from the trees. We need both. If you can't get it at the foot or ankle, the body will get it, the nervous system will get it somewhere else up the chain in the body. So if you eliminate this by doing more of this without understanding why you need this in the first place, you're gonna get this somewhere else. Usually, it could be the knee, it could be the hip, it could be the pelvis, the lower back, on and on and on. Now you know.